Stevenson falls to Hood tonight, 76-64. Glenn Clark with head coach Gary Stewart. Coach, you guys got off to a pretty good start. Uh, you had the lead 24-20. What went wrong late in that first half that you guys just never really recovered from? Well, Glenn, I thought it was always a struggle. We, we didn't take care of the ball real well. And um, and so we, we gave in to that a little bit and had some frustrations with not being able to make some shots. And then all of a sudden our intensity uh, lapsed and, and credit Hood. I mean, they took advantage of that. You, is there something about the matchup with Hood that, you know, it's a team that you guys obviously have had some struggles with over the years. Is there something about them that's just giving you guys a particular fits, something like that? No, it's 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 Gary Stewart against Muhammad Ali. I mean, they're better. You know, I mean, you can say what you want, but the the reality of it is the, the score doesn't lie. And um, until you take care of the ball better, make better decisions, uh, the outcome is going to be the same. So um, we're fully aware of what we need to do. Uh, obviously, we can play better, and we're going to have to play better to beat them. We saw at one point in the second half, you went with a bigger lineup. You had both Bo and Nate on the floor together at the same time. Was there something that you saw there? Is it something that you maybe would like to do a little bit more often as the season goes on? Yeah, we talk about that every day. It seems like we're trying to um, get our guys in the game that uh, are playing really well in practice. And, and we're really, really high on Ryan and Zach. And obviously, Bo's been a, a really good player here for a long time. So we like the depth at that position. And, and unfortunately, uh, we can't get all those guys out on the floor at the same time, but uh, we're we're constantly trying to figure out ways to to uh, stretch our lineup a little bit. Right. I know tonight was a, an important night in your partnership with Coaches versus Cancer, and it being Suits and Sneakers Night. Can you just tell us a little bit about how that came about and why it is that you want to be involved with, and and kind of what your message is to everybody about the fight against cancer? Yeah, well, you, you hit it on the head. Uh, Glenn, it's everybody's uh, problem. Um, you, whether you're six degrees separation, it hasn't really affected you or your family or friends, uh, but you know someone. Um, and uh, sometimes it hits a little bit closer to home with a person that's going through it or, or a family member. Um, and if we all are able to do a little bit, um, uh, you know, our small part to, to try to make inroads, um, we can get on top of this. And obviously it's a it's the biggest fight that all of us have ever had, but uh, uh, we're committed to, to uh, as, a, as a basketball community to um, eradicating this uh, terrible, terrible disease, and, and we wanted to bring awareness to it, and, and uh, uh, there's a monetary aspect to what we're trying to do as well. Um, but um, I'm glad that you were able to mention that, uh, Glenn, because it's critically important not only to, to the nation but to Stevenson and to our, our basketball program. I know that uh, y'all were passing along the message. It's time to get your screenings. And certainly some of us of a certain age that maybe are denying our age need to recognize that and, and make sure that we're going and taking serious uh, care of ourselves when it comes to that. Yeah, I think for all of us, the care, care belt uh, is, is moving pretty quickly. And so we've got to uh, all uh, pause and make sure that we're taking care of ourselves. And early screening, early detection um, is the best opportunity to get on top of this. Coach, appreciate it. Thank you for what you're doing with Coaches versus Cancer, and best of luck as you head back out on the road this weekend. Thank you, Glenn. It's Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark. Go Mustang Sports TV.